Hi, Stephen Smith here, and I believe that I have a word from the Lord for you today. It's been a real blessing to be able to share these things with you. I hope that you take these things and they're actually making a difference in your life. Feel free to share testimonies on Facebook or on our blog or any other way that, that God leads you to. But I really encourage you to take a look at these and to let them change your heart the way that they've changed mine. It'll make such a difference in your life. Today, God gave me Matthew 4.4, 4, which says, But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Have you ever thought about the possibility and the amazement of that statement that Jesus just made? I mean, think about this. We have the capability of understanding, of grasping, and of growing by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So if you think about this, this means then that I can understand everything that God has to say about my life. I can understand everything that God has to say about the world that I live in. These things are all possible because God's Spirit himself lives within us. If we understand this and know this, then the statement that Isaiah 55 11 tells us is that it is the same with my word. I send it out and it always produces fruit. It will accomplish all that I want it to and it will prosper everywhere that I send it. God's word that goes out and accomplishes all these things, producing fruit in our lives, going out and accomplishing what he sent it out to do, we have the capability of understanding it and of living off the nourishment of that. The, we, we think of this as an impossibility because of the God of the universe and all the great things that he has, and we'll always quote the scriptures that tell us that no one knows what God is doing, no one understands what God's plan is. The reality is, is that by the power of his spirit in us now, we can accomplish this. Let me show this to you in 1 Corinthians 2, 11 through 12. It says, no one can know a person's thoughts except the person's own spirit. And no one can know God's thoughts except God's own spirit. And we have received God's spirit, not the world's spirit, so we can know the wonderful things God has freely given to us. So if God's spirit is within us, then we should be able to understand and know exactly what it is that his plan is for us. You know. Paul tells us this in Romans 8, 27. He says, And the Father who knows all the hearts knows what the Spirit is saying. For the Spirit pleads for us believers in harmony with God's own will. So God's Spirit who's within us is actually pleading with God himself for our needs, our wants, and our desires. Those things that God had spoken to us and about us from time beginning, 2,000, more than 2,000 years ago, 6,000 years ago, God has done all these things and spoken these into our lives. We have the capability of understanding and knowing these things. Why not live in the victory that God has placed in you by taking these words and making them a part of your life? So this is the word that I believe God's given you. I know your heart and what you eagerly sigh for. To comfort and guide you, I have placed my spirit within you. He completes you and is there to be a part of your life. He is a confident guarantee of my love for you. Why not use this gift to its full potential? You know, this word that I've been giving to you has been something that's really been a difference for me. I've listed all these scriptures below in the link below. You can join us on Twitter at Stephen Preserve. You can take a look at this on Facebook and feel free to share it anytime that you like. You can go to our YouTube channel and look at all the different previous messages that we've had. You can go to our website and go to awfg.today. You can go to our blog at awfg.blog to discuss this, or you can even enjoy this podcast at your leisure. Well, God bless you, and I hope that these words have made a difference in your life. They certainly have in mine. Thank you, and I hope to see you soon.